My favorite that they don't have by far is in 1997 they had a red jersey. They wore the red jersey eight weekend games and they lost all eight. And TK said, I'll never wear those blankety blank Dairy Queen jerseys. <laughs> and I was doing a display about eight years ago at Twins Fest and I was showing all the styles of jerseys over the years and I was fluffing up his number 10. So I made sure I got Puckets that year, they got rid of them. I made sure I got TKs and I made sure I got Paul Molitors. And so I'm handing up TKs and I hear a voice from behind me. I knew I should have burned the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I personally like the red. They're just, but they showed up on television as orange and, it, and they just didn't like it and so forth. Uh, no, my, I don't have a least favorite. Some people didn't like the blue when it came out, that baby blue in the mid 80s. And now it's really a collectible color. A lot of people, I like the baby blue. But uh, for a guy that, is my sole goal in life was uh, <laughs> to play pro baseball and, and not be able to make that. Uh, I, I just, you know, kiss the ground of the field every day I'm there and, and so forth. You know, there's a reason to say that. Anybody else? You guys went super. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the bats, they are the same wood. No, there's all different woods right now in bats. In fact, they did a two and a half year study where when a bat was broken, if you remember in the last three years, bats are flying all over the place. And the biggest reason we get is that all of the old hardwoods, the old, old woods with the tight greens and everything like that are gone. And the bats are <coughs> being made from second growth and third growth and fourth, and it just isn't that hard of a wood anymore. It's something to see the bats arrive. Joe Maurer will sit there and he'll get his bat, uh, 12 bats. And he'll pull one out and he kind of balances it, he feels it, he gives it to a ball boy and says batting practice. And he feels another one batting practice, and then all of a sudden, oh, this is a gamer. And they they seemingly know that. Now, I don't know if he tracks it, he gets a hit off of that bat, you know, or whatever, but uh, they do that. So the bats are all over. They still get the clay in big containers where the umpires have to rub down 96 baseballs before a game. The clay <coughs> comes from the same spot it's come forever, the South Jersey River, and it's a guy that's got a company and he dries it the same way and it's the same consistency. So when a ball, if you look at a ball when it first goes in the game, first pitch, it looks like a high school ball in the third inning. I mean, they take the white sheen off, it's darker. And uh, so there's a lot of traditions like that. Question? Yes? I assume you go to every home game. Yeah, I live there. <laughs> Pardon? Where do you sit? I've got two spots. If they quit paying me tomorrow and they let me keep my two spots, I keep doing what I'm doing. One of them's in the, up in the press box. And I chose to be on the, the end because I'm literally right behind home plate looking down the third baseline. There's two seats up there and I get those two. There's also a wall, next, kind of a divider right next to me there. And I don't have to watch Sid Hartman eat. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him that, yes. Oh, I've got not enough, I never have enough. But yeah, from Halsey, I've got his way, yeah, a waste paper basket or a, a cigar place right next to him. It's real antique looking. I've got that. And they said there'd usually be a cigar and they'd have to clean it out every night because he was going to spit a lot. And so we have that. I've got a couple of autographed photos in my collection from him. But uh, yeah, he was a character. I loved Halsey Hall. Yeah. You don't have the suit that you bought. No, we wish we had the suit or at least the fire sticker sure they had. <laughs> His story was how he literally got himself on fire one night. He, over the air, he said, oh my God, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he, he always was dropping his ashes. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing? Good, anybody? I think we're probably better. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, please keep the sheet. If for no other reason, you're going to be at a ball game. I'll be disappointed. If you don't come out and say, yeah, I heard you talk that night at the church. And then what I do, and see the one negative thing about Target Field, it's, it's ticket exclusive. You get a ticket and you, you can see a case that's there, but you can't go to see the rest of them. And then what I do when I have a tour, I say, where are you guys sitting tonight? And they'll tell me, and I'll say, okay. And then I'll take people in the sections they can't get to. And, uh, you know, it takes about 45 minutes. I meet you about an hour before the game. It takes about 45 minutes, and I'll give you a tour, and I'd just be honored to do that. I mean that. Well, you guys have been super, and thank you for being here this morning.